Hello, and welcome, or, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about the fact, that the editing community is dying. You can tell by the lack of, edits that I and many other YouTubers, post, and multiple Roblox editors quitting. Do I find this upsetting? Yes. It's something that, my channel itself is based off of. Anyway, let's get into the first chapter. When COVID had its hit on the world in 2020, everyone was bored and had nothing to do, and this is the time when Roblox edits peaked. Big YouTubers such as Lovebot, Future Neverlands, Jenny of 12, and Kalwo inspired a lot of people to start editing. As time went on, everyone started seeing less and less edits. Since life was back to normal, for a lot of people, nothing was normal and editing stuck with them, like me. I've been in the editing community for about two to three years, and my reign might come to an end in the near future as I'm getting older and want to focus on school and overall health. Beside that, you might know other editors such as Pink Blinks, B3 Ely, Cuteco Cookie Gaming, and Zhao Lung. They were the top Roblox editors of YouTube. But as you scroll through their videos, you'll find that they don't post many Roblox edits. The simple answer is that they've moved on. They no longer have any motivation to continue any further. And that's what a lot of Roblox editors are experiencing today. Another important reason why the editing community is dying is because of how consistent you have to be in order to gain views. The algorithm is basically working against you. If you're not famous, you have to follow every single trend that occasionally arises. And if you're lucky, you'll gain some views. As an editor myself who has gone viral, I can tell you that it's when you least expect it. I followed the Tyla dance trend and got 4.5 million views. Normally I would have been jumping off the walls in excitement, but I wasn't. The reason for this is because the subscribers I get from that was only from that video, and I still get the same amount of likes and views from when I had a smaller subscriber count. Another thing is that it's a one-time thing, and I wanted to work to get my subscribers, because 99% of the ones I got from that video were only there for that video and probably never revisited my channel again. I want loyal subscribers who want to watch my videos. That's another thing that editors struggle with, and it's loyal subscribers that return and interact with you. A lot of Roblox editors get little to no likes, and it brings down your motivation and care for posting. And the people who actually watch your videos stop watching them because they see you're not posting as much or at all. I would say that my audience is between the age range of 10 minus 15 and the ones from the viral video I posted were 5 minus 9. It's pretty sad that you can get so popular but it's just for a short amount of time. My last point is just that no one has time for editing anymore. We're either lazy, tired, busy, or just need to get away in conclusion. One more thing I forgot to add is that the YouTubers such as Cuteco Cookie Gaming, Clownsha, and all of those stupid YouTubers who post clickbait are dominating Roblox and make it unfair for anyone else who posts Roblox to be seen. Anyways, that concludes for this video. Thank you for watching. If you've gotten this far, have a good day or night.